Hey YouTube, Sandy Frank here. And today we're going to be uh, doing the next part of this uh, PSA submission. I'll fix my mic. Um, it's been a really fun one. Uh, a lot of low pop cards, and um, I've been enjoying the reveal so far. Hopefully, you guys have. Um, over, uh, I sent this uh, this order off in. Um, August late August 2020 and it took a little bit over a year to get here um, you know it's just what it is PSA is so uh, backed up um, over here I'll have the uh, the pop reports and of the card like if this is a PSA 9 and there was it might say PSA 9 pop 50 that means there's 50 of this card in PSA 9 and then down here I have the, the uh, pricing and uh, the recent sales data um, back of this card looks really good um, we're just doing like a blind reveal trying to guess the grades ooh the Raichu GX this is from the uh, Hidden Fates 10's card that I would never send in um, today but back when it was this only cost me nine dollars per card to send these off before I think that's a 10 and if I get get this as a 10, I'll have the set of the uh, different Hidden Fates 10s um, card uh, promos as 10s. There we go. PSA 10 on the right shoe. <clears throat> Probably not worth anything even as a 10. Oh, man. Got a bin down there on that card. Now, I don't know if PSA is damaging my cards, putting them in here. Because, like this card, it was bent. I don't remember seeing a bend. There's a definite bend right there. Oh, this is one of the Charizards too. So this is going to be <laughs> a terrible grade on this card with that bend. Yeah, PSA 6. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> like, I definitely wouldn't have sent that in with that bend. There's no way. Um... This one looks perfect on the back. Oh, this is nice. This is a this is an alternate art um, tag team um, from Unbroken Bonds, Mar Marshadow and May Champ. I really hope I can get a ten on this. It is a little bit thicker on the bottom, but the back is perfect. So this grader seems like if the back is perfect, he'll give me a little bit off on the front. Can we get the ten? Ah oh, man, PSA nine, so close. This was this is a strong nine right here. It's just a little bit off centered, and these really tight borders makes it really easy to tell if it's off centered, even just a hair. All right, this card back looks perfect on this one. Oh, this is a, a promo um, alternate art um, tag team. Full art, Lucario Mel Metal. Now, the centering on that looks perfect. That's got to be a 10. Yeah, PSA 10, easy 10 right there on that card. Very cool. This one looks pretty good. It is thicker on top and it has some edge wear there and a little white tip there. Um, so, Galio and Lunala from Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, I'm gonna say that's probably a nine. It has too much whitening on the back. A six. There's been many times in this order where I just get a shocking six. Like I don't get why that got a six. Don't this right there is on the case. Very strange. Hmm. Huh. Um, this card looks very good on the front or on the back. Definitely thicker on the top though than on the bottom. Charizard Brakeson. Now the centering on the front looks great, but the back centering might, I would say it's probably a nine. Yeah, that's a PSA nine. Unfortunate. Really cool card though. And this card edges look perfect, centering is really good on the back. Ah, oh, the 
Togepi, Cleffa, and Iglybuff GX Tag Team. That looks like a 10 to me. Yeah, easy 10. PSA 10 on that one from Cosmic Eclipse. This one, back to the card, looks great. Very crisp cuts, edges. The Mega Low Pony and Jigglypuff. Again, centering looks good. This feels like an easy 10. Yeah, PSA 10. Glad to get these in PSA 10s. <clears throat> you probably wouldn't want to get 9s out of those. Um, the back of this card looks really good also. Maybe a little bit thick on top and on the side. Blastoise and Piplup. Now it does look thinner on this side than that side, so I can see this getting a 9. A 6. Wow. Where are they getting these 6s from? Very strange. Like, it's either 10 or 6. Like, there's no in between. That's, that's terrible grade on that card. For an ultra modern card. This is the last of the boxes. I think there's a Charizard in this box. I think it's that one right there because I can see the edges of the, uh, of the card. Yeah, as you can see, very rough edges on this card. And there's a little bit of a crease there heavily played but it is the charizard and it has an awesome swirl right there so the only thing that can save this card is the eye appeal of that swirl um very uh very played condition to scratch that bottom corner is bad that corner is bad so i'm guessing this is probably like a three a two <laughs> that's pretty cool too with that swirl on there though but yeah, I can see it with those bad corners. All right, that's base set two, by the way. Not a base set Charizard. This one, we have white tips on three of the corners. Double colorless energy from Guardians Rising. Um, that looks like it, the front looks like a 10. It probably will get a 9 with those white spots. Yep. PSA 9 on that one from Guardians Rising. Oops. I don't know if I showed the grade. I didn't see it though. Um, a little bit of white tips on the upper edges, corners. The Wishful Baton. I sent out a bunch of these gold secret rares in this order. Cards that. I, I was more into these at this time than I am now. I much prefer like the uh, secret rare Pokemon than these uh, items and stuff. That looks like probably a 9. Oh, that one got the 10. The Wishful Baton. A little bit off center, I think. Maybe it's just my eye. Nah, that's, that's got good centering. <clears throat> this one... Definitely has a white tip there and some on this top edge. The Ultra Ball. Ah, that's a shame because this is a nice card. Um, will it squeeze out a 9 with that issue? Yeah, it did anyway. So we did get a 9 on that. The Ultra Ball. This one, the back looks perfect. Fire Crystal. That looks like an easy 10 actually. An eight. I don't know. Very strange that that got an eight. I don't get it. Okay. All right, next one. Um, this one definitely got a lot of white spots up there on that edge. The energy switch from Roaring Skies. Um, the centering is not terrible for an old 
XY secret rare. I'm going to guess it's probably 8. Ah, I got the 9. So how are these getting 9s with the little white tips on the edge and that one got the 8? I don't get it. Maybe there's a scratch I didn't notice. Um, that one looks pretty good on the back. Maybe a little bit of whitening on that edge. It's definitely thicker on top. Energy Retrieval Ancient Origins. You can see it is definitely thicker on the top, uh, on the front as well. So I'm guessing this is probably 9. Yep, PSA 9. This one, there is a white tip on that corner. There's a couple little white spots on that upper edge. VS Seeker from Roaring Skies. Since those other ones are getting nines, I don't see why this wouldn't. Yep, PSA 9. Um, this card looks very good on the back. Perfect. Martial Arts Dojo. I think I sent one of these in earlier on early order and got a 9. This looks like a 10. Yeah, PSA 10. That's an easy 10. Very cool. And that one from Cosmic Eclipse. This one, um, thicker on the bottom than the top, and it's a little bit thicker over here than there. Brooklet Hill. Now to me it looks thinner over here than this side. This is from Hidden Fates. Um, I would say it's probably a 9. Ooh, an 8. Maybe they're nailing me on centering on some of these. Because I don't see where else they would get an 8 but some sometimes cards will be off centered like this and they'll give you a 10 so very strange wow this one has a lot of it. big edge wear down there at the bottom a lot of it right there this has to be a vintage card I'd imagine oh Articuno and this is a first edition um, I did throw a few first edition um, old cards or Wizard of the Coast cards a lot of scratches on that hollow. Um, I would guess it's probably like a 5. Yep, PSA 5. Just neat to have one of those as a first edition grade for $9. Can't beat it. Definitely, if I wanted to sell that, it would sell for pretty decent, I think. This one, again, there's a crease there. You can see it a little bit. Or indention or crease. Um, definitely a lot of edge wear on the top and the bottom. Definitely off center. The Maychamp. This is uh, the Shadowless version. The centering actually looks pretty decent on it. Um, so this is the the more of the true first edition. And I sent in another one of these and it got a pretty bad grade. This one looks better than that one, but that big scratch right there might hurt it too. So I'm guessing this is probably a four or five. Yep, four. So that one goes there. Again, even though that's a bad grade, that is actually worth a little bit. Um, this card looks like a little crease there. There's a crease up there. Very rough on the back. Ah, Dark Espion. First edition, Neo Destiny. Very rough. I just love this card and I'll never be able to afford a nice first edition one. <laughs> and um, I, this was in some collection I bought many years ago and I decided, you know what, the card still looks nice even though it's well played, well loved, let's just get slabbed. I bet you it's like a 2 or 3, yep, PSA 2. And believe it or not, it probably is still worth getting graded at $9. Next one, uh, definitely some edge wear down there. Overall though, pretty nice. Oh, an Onyx from, uh, this is a uh, Southern Islands. I don't think that is a, this is one of the very first non-hollow cards I've graded of Wizard of the Coast. It looks pretty nice, slabbed actually. I'm guessing that's like a nine. Yeah, PSA nine on the Onyx from Southern Islands. Oh, 
this one looks pretty good on the back. Jolteon. Ah, I did this totally as a shout out to uh, Jim Mint Pokemon. Jungle Jolteon. Let's take a look at that back again. Man, that's really nice on the back. Maybe a little bit of edgeware there. They always say non hollow Wizard of the Coast is easier to grade than hollows. Can we get a 10 on that? I don't think it's a 10. I think it's a 9. Whoa! PSA 10 on the Jolteon Jungle. Sick. And I totally grade this just as a shout out to Jim Mint Pokemon. That is awesome. And the reason I'm shouting out Jim Mint Pokemon is because I would have never even thought to grade my Pokemon cards, except I enjoyed watching his uh, PSA videos. And uh, I'm so glad I did because this has been a blast sending in um, my old Pokemon cards and also it led me to buying some to send in. And wow, that's awesome. That's definitely going to be a special spot in my collection there it's not first edition or anything but that's sick all right that puts a smile on my face all right so little edge where there little dot there I got the unknown from first edition neo destiny i just thought it was a nice condition card probably not worth getting graded but it is a first edition i think it's probably a nine wow psa 10 on that one too man that's actually a little bit surprising but i guess on vintage cars they'll give you a couple little white dots but man they don't do that on the hollows <laughs> they nail you on the hollows but non-hollows maybe not as tough to grade this one I mean, a little bit of edge down there. Ooh, lantern. Okay, let's look at this back. Now, nah, there's too many little white spots here and there. To, I was thinking maybe we get 10 on a prime. It's very tough to grade these because there's all that hollow on there. I'm going to say, yeah, there's a little bit of scratches on that upper border. I'm going to say 9. Yeah, PSA 9. Didn't deserve a 10, really. That, by the way, that one is from Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. Okay, got two cards left. This is not going to be a 10, though. There's a white spot there, white spot there. Uh, bottom two corners have some white spots. Kingdra from Unleashed. One thing I will say is these prime cards look amazing in the slabs. Beautiful. Um, I don't see the scratches. On, there might be a small scratch there, but this is probably a 9. Oh, that one got an 8. PSA. Yeah, there's some scratches down there. So They're not going to let you have very much in the way of a scratch on a 9. Alright, that means one last card. Can we end it on a banger? No. It's got a big old binder dent right there. See, when you hear people say binder dents, that right there, look right there, if the light will just, you can see a little binder dent there. That's why you should never put Pokemon cards or baseball cards or anything in those three ring metal binders because they will do that to your cards and ruin them. So the best this could get is a six. It's got... This actually doesn't look bad on the back besides that binder dent. And it's the Ampharos. That stinks. It does have a little scratch there too though. Oh, that, no, that's a print line going across. So, I mean, this is looking like a 6 with that binder dent. Yep. PSA 6. So, overall, I'm surprised some of these modern cards got 6s. I mean, you look at the, the 6 stack. It's crazy. That was it, right? That's all of them. Um, this is the sevens. This is the eights. Pretty big stack of eights. But considering there's some really tough to grade cards in this order, I did really well. The nines are a really tall stack. And then the tens, pretty decent stack of tens. Um, and then these were fives, 
fours and then a couple twos. But these were just, I knew these were going to grade bad. Just cool cards to have in slabs. Beautiful hollows on them, even as PSA twos. Uh, I don't mind those at all being twos. Now to only count the tens. Yeah, so there's a stack of 10. There's a stack of 10. So 38 PSA 10s. That's pretty good for this order. Especially when there's some harder to grade cards. Let me find my favorite card of the, of the order. Um, that's one of the favorite ones. Um, oh yeah, there's one. Definitely one of my favorites from this order. That one is definitely going to be one I put down as one of the favorites. Not a lot of surprises. There was a couple of uh, cards of surprise got tens, but I'll I'll put th these are my three favorite from the order: <laughs> the Jolteon PSA ten from Jungle. That's awesome. This Pikachu, I love this Pikachu. I'm so glad that it somehow got a ten. I don't really get why it did because that bottom border seems really thin. But the eye appeal of the card is great. And this is going to be super low pop because it is, one thing, it's a promo. This came out of a 10. And this was back when cards out of 10s had like the little crimp spots on the, on the edges of the cards. So this, that this got a 10, it's got to be super low pop. And I love that card. And that's my favorite po uh, Pokemon is Pikachu. And this has to be my other favorite from the order. Got the Shining Rayquaza as a PSA 10. And um, I'm trying to make a set of PSA 10 Shining Legends. So this will help um, get me closer to that. And just an awesome looking card. Alright. Um, if I had to say my biggest disappointment out of this order. Um, oh, definitely this card. I love the look of this card. It's beautiful. I don't know how this crease got there. I can't imagine how it would have got there because this is such a brand. It's not that old of a card, 2016. And I really hope PSA didn't bend my card. But that's probably my biggest disappointment was that um, this card got bent somehow. Ended up getting a four. And that's the only one of those I have. It was not easy to get promo. And it's Shining Gyarados. Really cool card. And I mean, it's... <laughs> Not worth anything really as a PSA 4, but I'll keep it in my collection because it looks cool. But that was a disappointment. All right. Thank you for uh, watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Definitely PSA is cranking out orders. I've got another one that's like almost ready to get shipped to me, I think, here in this next couple weeks. All right. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.